So what is a Prisma middleware? A Prisma middleware is some sort of function that we can define that will then be executed on every single request. So right here, I have a little flowchart diagram of how this would actually work. We start over here with whenever we execute the query, we're then going to run this middleware. So in this example, I have an if statement within my middleware that's going to decide, okay, am I going to run the original query or am I going to run some other logic? This could be like a soft delete, which I'll show you a code example of later. This could be anything else you want. And this doesn't have to have two separate paths or three separate paths or whatever. It can just run one thing. It could just be like logs or something. So we would just run this middleware, do the logging, then run the original query, then go ahead and return the result. Very basic stuff. You can do whatever you want here, but it's effectively a way for us to go ahead and implement some special logic that we're going to need to run on every single query to help improve our app. Typical use cases are logging, soft deletes, maybe some content moderation if we need to check posts or whatever, you know, so on and so forth. So getting into the basic code, the first thing I have here is just a basic create. So what I'm going to do in here is I'm just going to actually create a new post. So for my data model here, I am just using this schema.prisma. I went ahead and defined a post. It has title, content, published, so on and so forth. Nothing too special. And within this create method, what we're doing is we're going to go ahead and do prisma.post.create, then pass in this basic content. If I go ahead and run this, let's do np npm run build and then node dis slash create. So we just create this basic post, nothing too special. Once that's done, we can go ahead and actually look at how these middlewares work. So in here within this demo file, I have a little example of how this is actually going to work. So right up here, I am defining a middleware. Up here, I'm defining my Prisma client, just, you know, as you normally would, Prisma equals do Prisma client. But then down here, I'm going to do Prisma.use. And then this is effectively defining, this is a function that's going to run every single time I do Prisma.whatever.whatever. It's going to run this middleware anytime I do a query. So the syntax is prisma.use, and then we need to pass it an asynchronous function that's going to take parameters and next as its arguments. So params is sort of what you'd expect. Params is going to have stuff like what the action is, what the arguments are, what the method is, so on and so forth. And then next is a little tricky because if you're used to middlewares, if you've done this with HTTP or whatever, you might just think that next is just going to finish this part of the middleware and go on to the next thing or go to the main request body or whatever, you know, normal stuff. So it would go to the next thing. But what next is actually going to do in here is it's actually going to execute the query. So it down here when I'm doing this prisma.post.create, this next function is actually going to run that prisma.post.create. That's what that next function is. So here where I'm doing const result equals await next param, that is actually getting the end result of this query. And then I'm going to go ahead and I can do something with that and then I can return it. So effectively everything that's run up here is run before the query. Everything that's run down here is run after the query. And then down here, I'm going to get rid of this for now. And now we're just going to go ahead and create a post and then console.log it. So let's do NP run build. So once we do this node dis slash demo, we can end up with this result down here. The first thing we see up here is going to be our parameters. Our parameters are going to contain the arguments. These correspond to what you see down here. We have data, title, content, published, very simple. Our data path, not too important. Run in transaction, that's a more advanced feature where you could run a bunch of queries all at once as a transaction. Here it's false because we're just doing one. And we have action, which is going to be create because we're doing post.create. And then we have model, which is post because this is going to be on post. If you look at our schema.prisma, this is a post. We get all this basic information and we can do something up here with that. I'll show you in the soft delete how you could actually leverage this to run some logic or whatever, but you get all that information beforehand. Then afterwards we get this result. So down here we're getting the this object and this is actually just the new post itself. So the result of this next function is just going to be the new post and then we're returning that, which is then going to be returned out to this post right here. And then that's going to go ahead and console.log out the results down here and the post ID. So this seven is actually coming from here. So now we've gone over sort of what the middleware does, let's take a look at an actual practical example of how to use this in the real world. So the thing I'm going to do in here is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do implement a soft delete. So a soft delete is basically just, okay, my end user wants to delete their profile or they want to delete their post or whatever, but we don't actually want to remove it from the database. We need to keep that for internal purposes, but we want to make sure that it doesn't actually show up to the real world anymore. It won't be, sh it won't show up in any API requests or anything like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to implement a soft delete, which is effectively just doing a little flag on there that's saying, okay, this was deleted at this time. Instead of deleting the model, we just give it a flag effectively. Within here, what we're going to do is we're going to check, okay, so is the model of type post? Because remember, we're only implementing soft delete on post. So we're going to check, okay, the params.model, if it equals post and the action is delete, we only want to run this whenever it's a delete, then we're going to override this. So here we're returning something different than the next function. So if these two conditions are met, we're not actually going to run the next function, which is the original call, which is a delete on a post. We are going to be actually overriding that with an update. Because remember, we're 
we're not deleting, we're updating. So here we're going to do prisma.post.update, then the basic where, and then the basic data of it's no longer published and it's deleted at new date, which is just right now. So once we do this, we are then going to, anytime we actually run this delete method, we're going to update instead of deleting. But if we run anything else, so if we did prisma.post.create, this would not run because it will not match this criteria and we'll just return next and next will be the result of that you of that post.create and then everything will work as you would expect and we can chain these together if we want we'd add 10 different middlewares all of which have their own checks within them and then that's good for performance because if these two checks don't pass it'll just return the normal results and nothing happens out of the out of the ordinary all we have to do is a quick little check performance hit is not a big deal everything is good so let's go ahead and run this so we're going to do node dist slash middleware delete and then we deleted post one. We'll open up the studio in the browser real quick. And now we take a look at this. We're going to see our first post, which was just a hello world post. This is my first post. It is now published false. And it was now deleted. So we deleted it at right now. And that's it. We have deleted our post via a middleware. And instead of actually deleting it, we overrode that with this update method. And that's about it.